I am Dr. Rita Bakshi, Chairperson International Fertility Centre, Green Park, New Delhi. Let's talk of causes of female infertility today. Infertility is 30% male, 30% female, 30% is unexplained. So it is difficult to really say who is to blame. But let's talk of the causes of female infertility today. To tell you the, you know, what is really normal, people get married at a very late age today. Best eggs are between 20 to 24 years. Tell me how many people get married at that age. 27, your eggs start going low. And 35, they go a sharp decline in the quality and the quantity of eggs. Every woman is born with a finite number of eggs. They are not infinite. Each egg is coming out every single month and slowly by the time you are 35 they become very few in number, quality and quantity both and by 45 you would have been over so there will be no eggs at all. So it is important to conceive at the right time. Now as far as causes of female infertility go, it is important one is to know to maintain the right weight because obesity is a cause of infertility. Excess fat and the estrogen hormone is formed in the fat. So if it is more of estrogen, you will find more of girls with polycystic ovary. That is why if you see why PCO or if you heard a diagnosis is so common. Polycystic ovary is common because the lifestyle has gone up totally a while. Lot of weight, lot of hormone stagnant lifestyle have all added to this problem of polycystic ovary. So the infertility can be in the whole tract of females starting from the cervix and the vagina. Any infection in the vagina or the cervix can kill the sperms. The antibodies in the cervix can kill the sperms. As we go up there could be cervical stenosis you know the, 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 the mouth of the cervix the mouth of the uterus may be so tight that sperms cannot travel. Then you come to the uterus. The uterus, the, the lining can be destroyed by tuberculosis. The lining can be destroyed by other infections. There are girls who have repeated MTPs, you know, during their adolescent age group, not realizing that the lining can get completely destroyed and cause Asherman syndrome. That means there is no endometrial lining for the baby to form. Also, there can be fibroids. It's very common to have some mucous fibroids or intramural fibroids or polyps in the uterus, which are space-occupying lesions. So the pregnancy will not implant there. These are the uterine causes. Coming to the tubes. Now the tubes can get blocked. Again, tuberculosis is rampant in our country. Tu tuberculosis blocks the tubes, destroys the endometrium and causes havoc with fertility. So the tubes can get blocked. If the, if the tube has got two ends, the corneal end and the fibril end both can get blocked. And let me tell you, the pregnancy, a natural pregnancy occurs inside the tube. Fertilization happens in the tube. The egg is released from the ovary, comes into the tube and the sperm reaches into the tube where they meet. So if there is blockage, they cannot be a pregnancy. So it's important to have a nice, patent, open tube for the pregnancy to happen. So that there can be tubal causes and then there can be over, ovarian causes. The ovary itself is defective in the sense there may be premature ovarian failure. There are many young girls who are having regular cycles for uh, say till, till they were 20, 21 and suddenly cycles have stopped. Their ovaries have failed. Could be autoimmunity. It could be any reason. Could be genetic. You know, there, there again can be Turner syndrome which is XO and there are no, there, there are no eggs in the, in the woman or there is premature failure of eggs. So there will no be there will not be eggs anymore. So there is one cause. There could be two ways. Either there are no eggs or there are too many eggs like in polycystic ovary. Too many eggs start forming, but not one good single egg what is required for pregnancy. So both are bad, too little or too more of eggs. So as I said, genetic causes have to be ruled out whenever we are looking at a female. We have to make sure that her karyotype, she's a nice normal XX female, a 46XX. 
It's not a 45 XO as in Turner's. It's not any other, you know, uh, super female where again there will be a defect. So a chromosomal, uh, there should be no chromosomal or genetic defect in the woman. Then there are hormonal defects that means starting from the pituitary, thyroid. Again it is seen, you know, less of thyroid, more of thyroid again is havoc for fertility. So it is important that thyroid and prolactin and FSH and LH and estradiol, all levels are normal when she is trying to conceive. So let me just uh, bring out, uh, uh, in short again, it's important to have a nice anatomical good uterus. There are women who have no uterus at all or they have two uteri. Instead of having one uteri, you have two small lobes. So it is important to have a genetically, anatomically good normal uterus and a good normal tract for a woman to become pregnant. Starting with the ovaries, should have enough eggs, tubes should be open, uterus should have a good lining, cervix should have not have any infection, vagina should be nice, patent, no infection and that is how a female will become pregnant. These were the causes of female uh, infertility. In case you have any queries or any questions on any of these issues, you are free to contact me on the details given in the box below. Anytime, welcome. Thank you.